Here we're talking to you about the beam safety guidelines. For balanced beam, the most important thing is to have your students be able to mount the beam properly. So you want them to be able to jump up to a front support, swing their leg over, legs behind, push up to a doggy stand, to a stand on the beam. We want them to be able to mount properly because if they should fall off the beam, we want them to be able to know how to get back on the beam. So that's important. Secondly, teach them how to fall. So if they're going to fall off the beam, they know they need to bend their knees and land safely. We always teach them safe landing position by bending your knees and arms out to support your body weight. So it's important to bend your knees when you fall off the beam. We want to teach them that and emphasize that. Thirdly, instruct your groups, most importantly, not to push or to touch a gymnast when they're on the balance beam, especially with the high beam. We do not want them falling off. We do not want any problems with injuries. So they must not push or shove or touch a gymnast. Finally, I want to make sure that if you're on a high beam, you have an 8-inch skill cushion underneath that high beam and a landing mat if they will dismount. That's very, very important. And that landing equipment and skill cushion must be positioned properly under the balance beam. Finally, hips square over the beam when they're on top of the beam and walking. Hips square over the beam helps them to balance and avoid falling. So that's important. And finally, we want to make sure when they're walking, they have their eyes focused on the, on the beam itself. Thank you. Metal. Coach Karen back again with balance beam. And we're starting at the beginning by showing you how to instruct a gymnast to mount the beam. Prior to mounting the beam, the gymnast has to know how to walk comfortably forward and backward on a floor beam. So be sure they know that prior to showing them a mount because they're going to have to front support up onto this beam. First thing she's going to do is jump up to a front support, bend her knees, push up, swing one leg over, sit on the beam. Second is putting her hands in a butterfly position, thumbs together with the body, hands as wings, and she places them straight down on the beam as shown. She's going to swing her legs back behind her, Push up onto her knees, all the way to a standing position. And finish. Good job. I'm doing needle kick and three-quarter handstand. So the gymnast will start with her hands up by her ears, go into your front lunge. She's going to bring her hands down along with her head, which is in a neutral position. Butterfly hands down to grasp the beam, and the, the back leg comes up into a straight, Needle kick position and back up and finish. Now she's going to be doing the same thing except she's going to add a kick to it, making it a three quarter handstand. So, same thing, starting position, arms up towards the ears, hands come down into butterfly grasp, kick up into a three quarter handstand and back down, finish in a lunge. Good job. When spotting, a needle kick. Nikki's going to be taking her opposite hand and grabbing the gymnast's far right shoulder. As she reaches down for the beam, she's supporting the back leg and the upper body by the shoulder. Same with coming back into a lunge position to finish. Supporting the upper body and leg. Good job. Now she's going to be doing a three-quarter handstand. Nikki's going to do the same thing, but the difference is, because it's a handstand kick, she's going to be supporting both hips in the spot. So watch. She's going to grab the arm, both hips, grab, and finish strong with holding the back. Good job. Now we're going to show a spot for a full vertical handstand. So Nikki's going to spot the same way that she did for the three-quarter handstand. Cadence is going to reach her arms down to the beam. Nikki's grabbing both hips, holding from both sides, straight, beautiful vertical position, head neutral, arms straight, legs straight, back into her split lunge ending position. Good job. Nikki, we're going to show how to do a spotted cartwheel. Note the elevated mat in, his, in conjunction with where the gymnast is. We want to make sure we're at a comfortable height to grab her hips 
when she does cartwheel. Refer back to the spotting cartwheel video if you need further instruction. So Katie's is going to go into her cartwheel. Nikki's going to grab both hips. And she swings around and finishes arms up, head neutral, in a lunge position. Good job. We're now going to be completing the dismount portion of balance beam. So I'm going to show you two dismounts spotted. One is your side handstand dismount, and second is your side handstand quarter turn dismount. First, Nikki's going to stand with her arms up, hand reaching for the hip closest to her, and she will grab around as she comes down. She grabs her hips, squeezes tight. As the gymnast is snapping down in front, she goes to the forearms and supports both forearms to her ending position. Good job. Next dismount is very similar. The difference is the spot and the hand positioning when she comes off the knee. Same thing, side handstand. So she goes down into her side handstand. Nikki grabs at the hips, squeezes hard. Straight body position. Nikki will now grab the forearm, pull it out, and Cadence goes to her ending position. Good job. Hi, Gold Medal. We're going to be showing now a spotted round off dismount as well as a front handspring dismount on the balance beam. Refer back to those four videos if you need spotting and instruction on how to teach the skill. Right now, we're going to show a spot and a round off dismount. Cadence will raise her hands to her lunge position. Nikki's on the dominant side of the leg, which is the lunge leg. She's going to reach down, put her hands, do her round off. Nikki grabs around the back and supports both hips to the end position. Good job. Next is your front handspring dismount. Note the arm position as beginning. Head neutral, straight arms, straight legs. Nikki will grab as she reaches down her lower back, around the back, and grab her forearm for support until her ending position. Good job. 